Hi, and welcome back to this week's video. If you've never been here before, I am Megan J, and I make random YouTube videos about whatever I feel like, and then I typically post them on Wednesday. So today is going to be episode three in that series that I was calling Try a New Stuff, but I've since renamed it as New Adventures because, well, Try a New Stuff is not exactly what it is. It's more like New Adventures. Sometimes it'll be going to new places I've never been before, or it will be trying something new I've never done before. Today we are going to Shannon Falls. That is the third highest waterfall in BC, and it's about an hour away in Squamish, BC. It's just before Whistler, if anyone's ever been there. My dog is whining for his pup cup because we just acquired coffee before we start our drive. So he would like to have his pup cup. He's a happy boy with his pup cup. I am a happy girl with my coffee. I don't drink Starbucks very often, but when I do, it's delicious. Let's hit the road. Didn't film the drive because, well, it's really not that long, but it was really pretty. I've never actually driven the Cedar Sky. Excuse you. I've never actually driven the Sea to Sky Highway and I am kind of in awe of it. It was very distracting while I was driving because it was so pretty. I'm gonna try and pull over on the way back so I can show you. There wasn't anywhere on the way up to stop, stop. There wasn't anywhere on the way up to pull over to really get a good view of it. But there is on the other side of the highway. So we're here. First order of business is to leash up early and find the bathroom because uh, I need to pee. The falls are just around the corner. You can hike to the top of these falls, but it is beyond my skill level. There was people in the parking lot gearing up with like rope and climbing gear. So definitely beyond my skill level. So we'll just do the uh, hike around the bottom of it, but I can already hear it and it sounds massive. But look at this tree I found. Probably a little bit colder than I thought it would be here, and I'm also getting misted by the waterfall already. Headed up the trail to get a little bit closer. Oh, that was a lot of stairs. We're heading into the the really wet zone. Here we go. I'm getting soaked. Big old waterfall. Yeah. Wow. Definitely pretty amazing experience. It's cold. It's wet. It's windy. But it's cold. 
beautiful. Couldn't really ask for a better experience either. There's nobody up here. Awesome. That was quite a cool experience. Um, and it was pretty awesome that when I got to the top of that viewpoint that there was no one up there and I just got to kind of take it in all by myself, which was really nice. I'm going to drive up about 15, 20 minutes up the highway so you can see the rest of the beautiful view I got on the way up here. Definitely going to be a lot longer than 15 to 20 minutes for me to show you the view. I mean, it'll be quick for you. It's not going to be quick for me. I'm currently stuck on the uh, hill towards Britannia Mine, which is like Britannia Beach, which is like halfway between Lions Bay and Squamish. There appears to be a very bad accident up ahead. There's been lots of police cars going by me, so we're stuck on this hill with everybody else and everyone's turned off their car, which indicates to me that it's probably going to be a bit of a wait. Everyone up ahead, all the way down around the corner. Oh, look at the beautiful mountains. All I hope is that everybody in the situation up ahead, whatever it may be, is okay. You know, all I think is, if I had been five minutes ahead of schedule, that could have been me in that accident. I hope everyone is okay, and I'm very grateful that I wasn't me in that accident. So we're just gonna sit here and chill. Hurley's taking a nap. He's a little tired after our hike. And we're gonna wait, and the next thing you're gonna see is a really beautiful view, but I'm, I'm gonna sit here for a while. I just checked the traffic report, and apparently a motorcyclist was struck quite badly by a car. So I'm hoping it's uh, not resulting in the loss of life. But we are going to be here for quite a while, unfortunately. But that's okay. This is the worst day of someone's life. This is not the worst day of my life. Well, here comes the air paramedics. That, that definitely can't be good. I hope this person is okay. I'll take a walk. There's the accident up ahead. But this was my view on the entire drive up here. This is Britannia Beach. And right over there, that is the old Britannia mine. Pretty amazing, but see, there's no it wasn't that far away from the accident. are back in the car. Traffic is still at a gridlock standstill on both sides. We're sitting here, at least the view is all right, and I'll try and give you an update at some point as to how long I actually sat here. Currently, the only way around is to drive all the way to Cache Creek and then down through the Boston Bar, which is about a six and a half hour detour, which I'm just, I'm not willing to do. Even though this happened, I'm still really glad I went to Shannon Falls because that was really beautiful. On the upside, I'm still getting sun and the views are amazing. Just massive mountains and could be, I mean, I do have a dog bite in my face, but it could be worse. I mean, I guess this is another first for me. Gridlock road closed traffic. So, also a new adventure. Update, I'm still here. It's been three hours so far uh, they're saying one to six hours before the road reopens alternating paths so that is not any time soon and uh, it's, it's quite warm today so we're just making the best of it and hanging out at the beach that's literally right there and just uh, hanging out it sucks, but it, it could be a lot worse and just got to make the best of bad situations.